saw it, we could hardly believe it. As a scientist, it was very surprising. So when the results came in, I was like, wow. When I saw the data, I couldn't believe it. This was completely unexpected. February 2012. Researchers at the prestigious North Carolina Research Campus Human Performance Laboratory make a startling discovery. One that answers some important questions and opens the door to even more. Dr. Neiman, the Vice President of the American College of Sports Medicine, is the author of nine books dealing with physiology and exercise testing, more than 200 peer-reviewed publications, and more than 300 articles in health and wellness magazines. We have a national reputation for testing various sports nutrition products and their effect on performance and exercise-induced physiologic stress. So this campus, the, the North Carolina Research Campus, we have several universities uh, that are here, including Duke, UNC Chapel Hill, uh, NC State University, and we're working together with various companies, Dole Foods, uh, General Mills, and we're all working here together really under one mission, which is the connection between nutrition and health and performance. ASEA is the world's first and only redox signaling supplement. Redox signaling works on a cellular level, and its primary functions ensure the ongoing vitality of our cells, including proper cell metabolism. Metabolism is the name we give to the chemical reactions that take place inside our cells in order to sustain life. When these chemical reactions happen, they leave behind traces, almost like fingerprints. We call these fingerprints metabolites. One of the premier institutions for studying metabolites and their importance to human health is at the prestigious North Carolina Research Campus where they learned that the results of the study surprised the entire group of PhDs. They were expecting to see something when ASEA was combined with exercise. Instead, they found chronic results, that is, results that happened before exercise, simply from drinking ASEA. We didn't think that drinking ASEA would shift metabolites chronically. We thought it would do something during exercise, but not after a week of drinking it. After working with the Bioinformatics Statistical Division, we were able to determine that drinking ASEA over one week caused a shift in 43 metabolites. Not a little shift, it was a large shift that caught us by surprise. When the metabolomics came back from ASEA, I, we were just like, wow, there's something really interesting going on that we weren't picking up from our traditional markers. And, and the last data set that we had come in was metabolomics, and there were these huge differences um, in free fatty acid mobilization. And so that was kind of a shock to us, because we weren't expecting to see anything at that point. But um, there's certainly something going on there, which is really interesting. I didn't believe it. So when I saw this, you know, that, that 43 metabolites were uh, differentially, they, they were at different levels. I, 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 w I didn't believe it. And I've done studies with, with microarray analysis where you're looking at thousands and thousands of genes and you might find two or three genes that are differ differentially expressed. But here we are in metabolomics and you find 43 things that are different. It was astounding. The data revealed shifts in 43 metabolites something these PhDs had never seen before, something that caused these scientists to use words like astounding and massive. But what exactly did these metabolite shifts mean? Many of the metabolites were related to plasma free fatty acids. So the athletes actually started the exercise after drinking ASEA with a lot more of these uh, free fatty acids in their blood. The reason that's important is then the muscles will actually use that as fuel, sparing the muscle glycogen and the use of amino acids, which is what we found uh, as we analyzed the data. And the free fatty acids are very important because during exercise, we'll oxidize those to make energy in the form of ATP. My thoughts on the, the study is, it, well, my first off one was sort of like, I already kind of knew this, <laughs> just through my own experience with the product. So, but at the same time, it's great to have that, that solid evidence, that laboratory test that makes it official, gets the official stamp of approval from the scientists, and then to go along with the stamp of approval from elite athletes. 
With ASEA, I've noticed my training and my, my times and my meets have improved significantly. And learning about the research behind ASEA, I know that it, that just boosts my confidence and, um, and reinforces what I already know. It gives me even more confidence and more understanding of why this is doing, what this is doing to my body. When I can be able to be able to train at this level at 51 years old and compete with the 25 year olds and blow them out of the water time after time, it is the science behind it just totally blows me away. I've experienced all of these tremendous benefits over the past few years when I'm doing these world records and maybe didn't understand it, but was fearful to go off of the product. And with these new studies, it's really helped me to understand why I don't get sore and why I'm able to just lock in this, this strong pace and hold it for so long. So now you have the elite scientists confirming what the elite athletes have already known, and it really makes ASEA impossible to ignore. With ASEA, I know that I, I can swim faster, and it's nice to know that PhDs agree with me. But the implications of these fatty acid metabolite shifts go far beyond the world of elite athletes. They impact everyone who drinks ASEA. Because the metabolite shifts occurred before exercise, the athleticism of the test group was a non-factor. The results came simply from drinking ASEA. The study showed that merely drinking four ounces of ASEA for seven days caused the body to release fat stores and make them available for fuel. So yeah, regardless of the exercise intervention, in this particular study, the, the chronic effects that we saw after one week supplementation of ASEA, that, that would apply to more than just athletes. Drinking ASEA for a week caused this increase in free fatty acids. Every uh, understanding from the literature is that these probably came from the fat stores in the abdominal area. And we'll be taking a closer look at that. So if you drink ASEA, we found that the fats go up in the blood. If you're not exercising, those fats will still be used to support the body's metabolism for life. Metabolomics, the ideal tool for measuring the effect of supplementation on the human body, revealed astonishing properties of ASEA. Simply drinking ASEA for seven days mobilized fuel stores in the body, fuel stores that almost certainly come from abdominal fat. For those who want to burn more fat during exercise, ASEA is ideal. Even without exercise, the freed up fat stores will be used by the body as fuel. Since this fuel source is available at the start of exercise, it's likely that muscle glycogen is spared, giving athletes who drink ASEA a huge advantage. And additional screening showed that ASEA does all this with no negative effects on inflammation, oxidative stress, immunology, and diagnostic chemistries for liver and kidney function. Drinking ASEA brings positive benefits to everyone, regardless of athletic ability. But what if we were to think about the idea that we are all athletes? The truth is we are. Our bodies crave physical activity. We were meant to be active. So regardless of what you're doing, whether it be picking up your child, washing your car, uh, throwing a ball with your children, we're expressing the capacity of our body to fulfill its desire to be physically active. And ASEA is the key to activating that efficiency. This breakthrough discovery gives clarity and insight into one aspect of ASEA and its benefits. And it's just the beginning. These are extremely important data, and we look forward to doing further research.